And I'm saying that would be like saying that if your son, uh, if you had six sons and one of them moved to China and his descendants were only Chinese and one moved to Greenland and his descendants were only Inuit and another son moved to, I don't know, the Amazon and his descendants were only, you know, folks from the Amazon, that they wouldn't be your relatives. That would not patently be not true. Genealogically, they would all be connected to you because you're the grandpa. They're still connected. The idea that physical similarity will always track with relationship is what we're trying to get. I'm trying to dispel you of that notion because it's not always true. And so there's sometimes people who may look very similar or, or when you measure certain things, they may appear to be similar based on the math. But in actual fact, using other measures and, and other kinds of information, you know that that can't possibly be true. You know, so, if, so when I go down to, uh, when I go up to, uh, you know, when I go to some village in the Sudan and I say, that guy looks just like guy at the conference in London. I mean, they must be, oh, no, it's not your twin brother. You know, it's an accident. <coughs> It's an accident. There is something in physical anthropology and evolutionary bi biology called polytopicity. And polytopicity was a problem for uh, early evolutionary biologists uh, who were interested in taxonomy and classification. Why? Because polytopicity refers to the fact that you have similar looking groups of organisms uh, or you have a group of organisms in one place that looks very similar to another group of organisms in another in terms of whether it was their wing shape, their morphology, in terms of things that you can measure. But the dilemma was, should you group these things together when one was 10,000 miles away from the other and there was no way that, that one got from one place to the other. In other words, they were not closely historically connected. So it's called polytopicity. It's one of the problems with the subspecies concept for zoologists and the subspecies concept in zoology is the same as the race idea for human beings. Only with human beings there's even more problems than there were for the zoologists. Problem of classification. So uh, my human example of polytopicity is certain people from Vanuatu and Papua New Guinea and those places who for everybody who just sees them on the street based on your own social experience you say oh, they, oh these look like Africans. Are, are they, these are Africans. Well, no they're not. No they're not. Their lineage DNA says they're not. Where they live says they're not. And their languages definitely put them very far afield. But they live in tropical climates. Modern humans were tropical to begin with. Are these retentions from early migrations? Or are they just re, reacquisitions of tropical traits? Now, no one can answer that. But their DNA clearly ties them to Asia. I mean, the lineage DNA.